Hey, welcome to the Adventures of Shane and Laura. For this week's adventure, we're going to take you guys to the Bighorn Canyon National Recreational Area. There is an amazing overlook there. It's called the Devil's Canyon Overlook. I don't know why it's not called the Bighorn Canyon Overlook, but it is really cool. The vertical drops are like a thousand feet on the canyon walls, so it should be a really neat uh, little spot at that overlook. There's a spot where the river bends in like a horseshoe bend, and it's really just a beautiful sight to take pictures and video. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, we'll bring you guys along. realize that a lot of you are not here just to see our smiling faces but to get practical information so we studied a lot about the Bighorn Canyon area and the Devil's Canyon Overlook and uh, we're gonna try to give you all the practical information you might need to plan your trip and kind of give you our opinion of, of the area in general and uh, whether it's worth your while I think it's gonna be a good trip though How's it going? Good. I'm so excited for this trip. Yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm excited to see my family and I'm excited to go check out Bighorn Canyon because I've yeah. never done it before. So Yeah, same here. Yeah. Woo, and the road trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should be awesome. Friday. So we just pulled into Laura's parents' place. So uh, we are going to spend some time with family and we'll catch back up with you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Way too early. Way too early. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, it's not quite five in the morning yet and uh, we're getting up, getting ready to go. So yeah, <laughs> good morning. All right, we got up at 4.50 this morning and uh, ready to hit the road. So we are on our way to the Devil's Canyon Overlook at the Bighorn Canyon. So hopefully we'll hit sunrise at the Overlook. So we made it to the Devil's Canyon Overlook with time to spare. So <laughs> as Shane was getting ready for our trip, he was working super hard, gathering all the camera equipment, doing all that stuff, that he forgot to bring any jacket at all. <laughs> so no he, jacket whatsoever. Yeah. That, I'm not the kind to do that either. That's yeah. got to be the first time in a very long time. So luckily, my mom found this sweatshirt that's either Matt or Dustin, one of my <laughs> brothers. Thanks, Matt or Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Shane's sporting that today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But uh, we're, let, we're doing a little time lapse, so hopefully we'll have something cool for you guys. Um, talking about the time lapse is probably really a cool way to make your video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's actually really nice here. The, it's starting to warm up with the sun coming out, and it's completely still. I mean, we can hear like birds and all that sort of stuff. Um, and there's tons and tons of poop everywhere. <laughs> I think it's like rabbit and deer and I'm assuming Lots of probably animals. like uh, bighorn sheep and, yeah, and uh, the point. mountain goats and that sort of stuff. That, so, they say that they're here so you should be able to expect that that's probably what some of this stuff is. I've been keeping my eye out. I haven't seen any yet but I bet they'll sneak up on us real yeah. soon.
so we just we got to the uh, parking lot at um, 6:45. Yeah, like 6:40. 6:40, and uh, we had the whole place to ourselves for like two hours, two and a half yeah. hours. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So if you do want to have the place to yourself, come early. And uh, and then we had uh, the nicest pair of Aussies uh, come. His name was Tosh, T A S H. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter how it's spelled <laughs> and uh, I don't remember Allie. and Allie and they were very sweet and they're doing a big trip of North America um, and we asked them if they had toured Australia and they said that they never had which is kind of funny because Australia is obviously like a really cool place to visit and tour around so but um, we were talking to them and they were asking us what kind of places that they should check out because they're going all the way across to like New Hampshire or and then Vermont. Toronto eventually yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, and we were saying in Chicago they should check out the John Hancock building that there's this place called the signature room where you can get drinks and they asked if that was why it was called the signature room because of John Hancock and we that, had no, we, we've been there <laughs> twice and we've told never so occurred many people, to us yeah it just never <laughs> clicked so the Australians know more about American history <laughs> or put it together more than we did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so just up the road from the uh, Devil's Canyon Overlook is the Ewing Snell Ranch. I guess a lot of people came out here looking for gold and when they didn't necessarily find gold, they just set up ranches. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of these are like over a hundred years old. Um, and there's one over here. Whoop. I think they're, they let a lot of cattle range around here. Oh, look at the sod. Yeah. Rough. All right, so it's important to note that you can't get to the southern part of the park from the northern part of the park, and you can't get to the northern part from the southern part. So if you want to go to the Devil's Canyon Overlook, you have to come in the southern entrance. And so we came in through the southern entrance, and we've driven all the way through the park. Um, and at the end of the pavement, you can either take a right and go to Barry's Landing, which is a boat launch, or you can keep going straight, and it turns into a dirt road which we're on right now, as you can probably tell. And it, uh, this dirt road is gonna take you to the Lockhart Ranch, which is a, a ranch that was super popular in the 19th, 20th century. Um, Teddy Roosevelt vacationed <laughs> here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Yep. We're here at the northern end of the road that comes in from the southern gate at the Lockhart Ranch. Yeah, so we uh, learned a little bit about Caroline Lockhart, who owned this area, um, and it's it's really cool. It's a bunch of guest cabins. There's like a refrigerator house or whatever. <laughs> um, a whole house that's just refrigerated. <laughs> yeah, uh, just by using a stream. So Caroline Lockhart, she owned the ranch, and um, it's she, when she bought it, it was 600 acres, and under her ownership, it grew to 6,000 acres. She was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> she did all sorts of intense stuff. Like she did like like deep water diving in the Boston Harbor. And she tested out <laughs> fire equipment by jumping out a four story window. I guess at the time there were like nets that were new for catching people jumping out of the buildings. But in any I, case, that's I wouldn't want to be the one testing that. <laughs> yeah, well, she did a bunch of other crazy stuff too. Oh, when she was uh, younger, she was a reporter and she interviewed Buffalo Bill Cody. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy too. Yeah, and. Uh, we think that this is the ranch that Theodore Roosevelt came and stayed at. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Definitely an interesting place. Yeah. So you may not know this, but there's actually still horses running around the wild. Um, these horses, I, you know, I say still, but they're actually originally from like Spanish and Portuguese conquistadors that somehow ended up in the wild and, and they've now been generation after generation um, adapting to the Western United States. Yeah, um, one thing that's really, really cool. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I should say, yeah. I guess I should say that um, this area is a, a horse, um, 
a wild horse uh, refuge or habitat. So it's protected. It's a protected area, a wild horse sanctuary, I guess um, is what they probably call it. Yeah, yeah. One thing that's really cool though is we were telling my mom last night that we were going to come out here and I was excited to see some wild horses and she said that my grandpa used to he worked for blm um, the bureau of land management yeah and he uh worked with the wild horses and he would um you know if they got too many wild horses he would go out and um rope them down and try and break them and do all that sort of stuff and one really cool thing is um jimmy dean so for you younger folk you may not know who that is <laughs> Jimmy Dean sausages. <laughs> or you healthier folks. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so Jimmy Dean came out and he actually filmed a, like a TV episode or, or something like that, a documentary with my grandpa about the wild horses. And it was right in this area. And in the, the video, um, they were trying to break a wild horse and someone that was helping out ended up getting bit by one of the horses. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't seen the horses yet, but we're hoping that we might be able to see some horses before we head out. Yeah. So it's pretty remote out here, so it's very comforting to know that they have all sorts of outhouses. And this one, at least, is pretty well kept. So <laughs> being seven months pregnant, it's really important <laughs> to know where all the bathrooms are, so it's made the trip much more comfortable for me. Uh, to have all these different bathrooms available. And uh, this one is just right at the beginning of the turnoff for Devil's Canyon Overlook. And so it's only a mile from the Overlook, but it's a, a nice, easy place to stop and, and pull off. Yeah, and there's another one right by the Lockhart Ranch, which is out on the dirt road all the way at the end. Was that one pretty well kept? Yeah, it cool. was. So we're looking into it, and this lake, it's hard to see, but it's 71 miles long, which is really crazy. But this is a great spot to come to if you're around Red Lodge or Billings and you want to kind of venture out into the wilderness a little bit. Um, it's uh, an hour and a half to the southern entrance of this park from either of those places. It's a little bit longer from Red Lodge if you want to go to the northern end. But um, so far, this has been a really cool little trip. Uh, we haven't seen any horses yet, which is a bummer, but we're going to keep our eyes peeled. We still have a little bit more on our way out to, to really keep our eyes peeled. Um, but one thing that is really cool about this park is there's just a ton of, there's supposed to be a ton of biodiversity. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of it, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, they say that this is the convergence of like five different biomes. And so there's all sorts of different wildlife here. Um, but you know, we got here really early and we were kind of, you know, spending the morning at the canyon, which Obviously, there's not going to be quite as many um, animals there, but hopefully we'll see something on our way out. Yeah, but I, I think it's a really unique, special place. Um, just the vastness and the different rock formations and mountains and all that sort of stuff. It's, it is a really awesome place to go. Yeah, very cool.